I have two of the presenters for the 2019 Emerging Future of Group Dentistry Summit. And this is one of my uh, favorite presentations that I'm most looking forward to, which is Margaret McGuckin and Kathy Lynn Collada with I3 Ignite, two of the, uh, the secret weapons of the entire group dentistry field. And I think um, hopefully we're going to unveil you all to the, the large, uh, huge industry here. So um, could you all tell us a little bit about yourselves and, and where you come from? Great. So I'm Margaret McGuckin. Kathy and I are co-founders of i3Ignite, and we work as an advisory team across multiple industries, including DSOs. And especially as they build, they identify and build paths to profitable growth. And they're often really challenged by complexity. And it's getting more and more complex to run a DSO because not only are they multi-location, they're usually multi-business model organizations. So, you know, you've got implants, you've got perio, you've got endo, you've got GPs, you've got pedo, you've got ortho. Those are all different business models that have to be executed in different ways. Um, we also work in some other markets. Uh, together. And um, Kathy, do you want to do a quick intro? Oh, and I'm the founding chief operating officer of Clear Choice Dental Implant Centers, created and operated the platform, uh, went from one to 31 locations in 14 states, went from a million in revenue to 135 million in revenue. And uh, I've also been a chief marketing officer. Kathy. So I'm Kathy Lynn Collada, and um, as Margaret said, we're partners working with companies around building scalable platforms. So um, in addition to working in the uh, DSO arena, we do a lot of work in other um, industries, um, including local media, including construction, um, also um, some work in uh, tech, as well as um, things like um, property management. So we take all of that experience and working with companies around similar issues and really share that those learnings and apply them to the clients that we're working with. Excellent. And you okay. all, uh, yeah, that's very good. And so maybe you can give everyone a, a taste of kind of what you all are going to speak about, specifically top line revenue growth or something both of you have a vast amount of experience in the context of a group, group practices. Yeah, what can these participants expect? You know, more and more DSOs are expected to generate revenue growth, and they're expected to do it very rapidly. So what we did at Clear Choice was kind of a unicorn um, in terms of so quickly, at the height of the Great Recession, going from a million in revenue to over 135 million in revenue, four years, going from a handful of people to 400 employees across the country. But it's not really a unicorn because a lot of the principles that we use to, to derive that growth on um, what Kathy and I are calling marketing 3.0 because dentistry has been through several iterations of marketing, most of which are very narrow. And um, we are going to talk about what's the more expansive view of marketing, which is what you need today to really get to um, on a systematic basis, building a platform that will, um, a marketing platform that will increase your growth. Um, Kathy, do you wanna talk for a minute about um, kind of value creation and some of those things that we see as well? So, so one of the things um, in our work with DSOs is we're seeing the emphasis really uh, move toward understanding how the, the business will create value around their platform. And when we start to think about it um, and, and define marketing as a way we look at it, it really is an end-to-end -end patient experience that we're looking at, which means that the types of things we're talking about that will impact the way that you create value and how fast you create value include things that are traditional marketing type things like advertising, lead generation, things like that. But it also includes all kinds of other contact points and experiences that that consumer has as they convert to a patient and then eventually get treatment. So, so we are going to be talking about marketing and how it drives um, revenue and how it drives accelerated revenue growth from a much broader perspective, I think, than many companies have thought in the past. And I can tell you uh, from the conversations you've had with our members and the folks that you've worked with our members, um, I don't know if I can find or, or talk to two better people to talk on this subject. You all uh, have a tre tremendous amount of experience and um, this is going to be the presentation I think people walk away with and say, wow, I, didn't, I wasn't expecting that. And they're going to have a lot of takeaways for, for Monday morning. So, uh, so thank you so much, Margaret and Kathy. And in just a few short months, we will see you in uh, warm uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah.
No, we're so excited to be to you all. And the summit is such a great event. We really encourage everybody to attend. You all do a wonderful job. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're in together. We'll see you Thanks. soon. Thanks, Jake. Okay. All right. Thanks, Jake.